Okay, we got the Xtool D7 set up on this 2020 Kia Soul that we just did a brake fluid flush on. Uh, let's just go ahead and go inside of it and just see what uh, it will let us do under the special functions. We'll do an auto scan and let it find its proper VIN. The idea is after you do a brake fluid flush, and if you live in a climate or if you're just not an aggressive enough driver to ever jam on your brakes and actually lock up your brakes, the idea of wanting to cycle your ABS pump and especially all the solenoids within the valve bodies on the ABS system. Just gonna find it. So you can go on through it here and look at everything, but all we're going to do is we want to deal with the ABS pump. Okay, it did not let me get to where I want to go with that. Let's go with special function. ABS bleeding. Kia. So I'm going to try the diagnostic route going through the Asian cars. Okay, now I tried three or four different ways to get to it, but I finally got to it just trying different things and bear in mind the next time I update this every time I turn this on I need like a hundred or two hundred updates but I just I usually go ahead and update it let's just hit the ABS motor now we can start it I'm going to put my foot on the brake just to see if I can feel anything and we're going to start it yeah okay I felt pressure on the pedal push up on it we'll stop that test was successful let's go ahead and put the camera out there and we'll hit it one more time and see if we can pick up on it a little better okay let's go ahead and get the camera in place there's our abs pump right there right in front of the passenger side i'm not sure if ever a valve is going to be activated or not but sometimes i can feel it if i put my foot on the right on the pedal kind of lay it on there lightly but you have to depress it just enough to kind of feel what's going on. And we're going to try to operate the valves and solenoids. Okay, I finally got one, something to click out of that. All I'm getting out of that is like a short burst and a click that I can feel. Telling me these little tests are successful, but who knows? They all make the same sound, just a little click. Now that one there was a little more pronounced. One more electric shuttle valve left front. Well, let's go back to my favorite part. I can hear and feel that. Well, that's it. It is the X-Tool D7. We did get there. I tried three different ways of getting in there. Special functions. I think it told me that it wouldn't make a proper connection or something. And that's kind of what you run into with a lot of scan tools. But I'm not spending thousands of dollars on a scan tool and have to spend a thousand or fifteen hundred every year to update it, so... HCU air bleeding, you can see it's got the procedures to run through if you do want to get into that. And I'm not. This thing has excellent brakes after I did the brake foot flush and after I cycled all this. But I did turn on the fans on the engine. You can operate your power windows to eliminate is it a switch or is it the motor. If you just use this thing just a couple of times, you're going to get your money back. Dealerships nowadays are charging 100 to 150 bucks just to hook up their scan tool. Dealerships have a ton of costs associated with keeping their scan tools up to date. They may do it on a daily basis. I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, thanks for watching. Work safe out there and have a good one.